Hey, what's up, everybody? I wanted to show you how to uh, use Cheat Engine to add in uh, unique characters and stuff to your party in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, the Evil East Chronicles. So right here, you see I have uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. I already opened up. Go start game. I'm going to click on here on my desktop. I have Cheat Engine. I'm going to boot that up. I'm gonna skip through this. I'm just gonna load up one of my uh, save files here to show you. Mm. We'll go with uh, we'll go with this one. This is like right after the the intro <clears throat> tutorial battle or whatever. So I'm gonna go over to Cheat Engine. I'm gonna click on this uh, magnifying glass at the top. I'm going to go to my instance of Final Fantasy Tactics. I'm going to open it. I'm going to keep the current address code list. All right, let's boot it up. Very important before doing anything, you have to. This current unit job data, you're going to have to change the value. So, I believe right now it should be uh, Ramza Squire Chapter 1. All right, we're going to make it this, this value right here. If you don't do this, it will, it will crash. So one four zero seven eight one one nine one. All right, we're gonna leave that. We're gonna go back into the game. I'm gonna show you my party setup right now. These are the characters you start out with. Uh, you know, you got your male female chemist and your two male squires and two female squires. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at this uh, second unit here. We have uh, 59 bravery, 53 faith, 92 experience, level one, male squire. I'm gonna go to my cheat engine. I'm gonna go to character editor. Unit two data slot, I'm just gonna make sure it matches up. Sometimes it won't. It depends on how you, your, your unit sorted in your screen. It doesn't always match up. But uh, this is a brand new save file, like right out the gate, so. As you can see it matches up generic male squire 92 experience 59 bravery 53 faith all right uh you can actually change these if you want to change the bravery so to go to change record value we'll go set the 95 bravery and you know we can set the faith to 20 right we'll back out of here it's not going to show up right away. Once you back out of the unit screen and you go back in, you can see the changes are reflected now. All right, let's change this unit. So we're going to go back into the machine engine. Uh, let's say you want to give him, we'll say, I want to give him a WeGraph Chapter 3 Sprite. The uh, Templar sprite. Scroll in. For some reason, this one I noticed is a little bit buggy. Like I said, it's still a little tricky. The portrait doesn't match up with the sprite. Let's see. This looks like one of the assassins, but um, you know it's fine. You'll see, you'll see the uh, once we back out, we'll go back in. I'll actually have Wegraf's White Knight job there. Well, let's say you don't want that job. So you want to keep this sprite, but you want, uh, let's say, Sword Saint, Orlando's job. We're going to current job. Change record value. We'll scroll up. 13, Sword Saint, to have, uh, give him Sid's job. And we'll refresh it. You see now he has Sword Saint. 
The only problem is he's no abilities. And if I change the job, well, I, I can't change it to Sword Snape. So if you want to keep this, keep this sprite with Sid's job, we'll go to Cheat Engine. You'll go to his Squire abilities, right? Active skills. What we're going to do is we're going to go change record value. Scroll all the way down. FF all skills. I'm going to leave this one, leave this one alone. I'm going to go back in. So our equipment abilities. You see as the first uh, eight skills. If you want the rest, scroll back down. You go to active skills. 9 through 16. Value. Just all skills to make it simple, you know? Now, oh, whoops, I didn't do it. Let's do it one more time. Scroll down all, all skills, okay. Yeah, but now he has everything. All right, let's show you this works. We're gonna go into a battle here. unit in there Dawson done like I, said, I don't care just I'm just doing this just to show you that it works So here we can see works. I have all the sword play abilities. Let me see if I can actually hit him on one. Nope. I can't delete it though. Yeah, so you can see it works. so i mean that's that and usually after like it should save some people have said they'd had to go back in here and change it every single time they load the game up uh, i haven't had to do that unless i change the job to like learn other things like move three or or, or whatever but i mean all this it should be the same if you wanted to give them all the skills you can actually go through all the jobs and and do all you know do the all skills thing with the passive active skills uh if you want to give them 9999 job points you can do that you can do total jp and job points just change both values to 9999 uh but other than that yeah it's pretty simple um easy to use you can do it with multiple members if i wanted to change you know five units in my party i can do that uh you can add items here you can scroll down and add items if you wanted to there's a whole bunch of things you could do with cheat engine uh, i just wanted to explain how to use the character editor uh, you can actually do job editor if you wanted to also so uh let me see if I can find WeGraph's job here. So yeah, this white knight, you could change the action skill list. 
You can change it to uh, sword play if you wanted to. And that will give you it's 9b that'll that'll give you that list if you want to give it innate abilities like move find item uh anything like that you can do that if you want to change the universe the usable equipment you can the growths you can i wouldn't mess around with this too much um because i don't know enough about it yet it's, but uh you know let's say if you have um uh, who i'm trying to think of a character who has really like reese the what's she dragon knight or whatever dragon can yeah she has really good stat growths right so if you wanted to you could just look look at what she got and just copy and paste them in the wee graphs job but i'm pretty sure that'll also affect his uh the boss fight like when you get there because whatever you give him on this, I think it'll just override it for everything. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's, you know, it's pretty simple, easy to use. Uh, make sure you change this though, otherwise your game will crash. You have to change it. This basically, this value is the uh, Ramses uh, Squire's job data, uh, and then that's it. You know. Uh, I'll finish this. I'll wrap this video up. I'll put all the links. I'll put the links to Final Fantasy Hacktics uh, website in there. I'll put the link to the Cheat Engine download in the uh, description. So, you know, all you have to do is look for it. That's it. It's pretty simple. All right. Take it easy, guys.